today we'll see how we can solve this very simple question wherein we have been asked to find median marks and some kind of range for past students so let us go through the question and then we'll see what we can do about it from the following data calculate the median marks so first thing is we need to find out median marks from this distribution that we have been given we have been given marks and students number of students so we need to find out median from this then if 60 percent of the students pass a test find the minimum marks obtained by a past student 60 percent students pass a test we need to find out minimum marks so we need to find out these two things median and minimum marks range now let us get on with the question but before we proceed look at the data set provided very carefully here it says marks more than it is not that marks and number of students it is marks more than so remember whenever we come across terms like more than or less than or above or below all these are cases of cumulative frequency in all such cases the frequency given is cumulative so the number of students that we can see are not from individual classes rather they are cumulative in nature for example let us see marks more than 50 marks more than 50 there are three so if I talk of 50 then more than 50 there are three students then marks more than 40 there are 10 students so marks more than 40 there are 10 students so all the students who are above 40 they are 10 in numbers of these 10 three are already we know that above 50 so seven are here now I have split this above 40 into a class between 40 and 50 okay now let us go ahead and we'll see about other details marks above 30 more than 30 20 so if this were the 30 marker these would be 20 students of these 20 we can see 3 are here 7 are here so how many should be here we should get 10 more students so this is how first we need to manage this given information because we generally do not solve questions which are given in cumulative frequencies that are given in cumulative we prefer solving questions wherein we get frequencies that are for individual classes that is 0 to 10 10 to 20 and such data so let us proceed and we'll see how this data is given and what we can do about it so marks more than 0 more than 10 more than 20 more than 30 more than 40 more than 50 so looking at these marks looking at the given details it looks like our classes should be 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 and so on so my classes definitely are going to be 10 20 20 30 30 40 and so on now the issue remains what is my first class and what is my last class marks more than zero so I have no information about marks less than zero so first class will start with zero so that class will be zero to ten and then last class would be marks more than fifty so marks are going beyond fifty also there are certain marks which are above fifty so last class will be fifty to sixty so let us go ahead and write down these classes zero to ten next would be here we have our classes then these are marks marks between 0 to 10 marks between 10 to 20 and so on these are number of students that is frequency for this question it will serve as frequency and then let us find out CF also because it is a question about median and then we'll see what is this but for now it is a question about median so we'll be needing CF also 
So when I try to split the frequencies, as we saw earlier, marks more than 50. So anything above 50, there are three such students. Then marks above 40, there are 10 students. Marks above 40. What are the classes which have marks more than 40? This is an area where we have anything above 40. Because if you go into this area, all these values are less than 40. You have a 0 to 10, you have a 10 to 20, anything between these is less than 40. I need above 40. As it is saying, marks more than 40, there are 10 students. So, the classes I am interested in is these two. These should be 10 in all. I should get a total of 10 over here. So 3 is already over here. I guess here I should have 7. Okay. Or the easier way would be just to subtract. Of these 10, 3 are already counted. So now I will be having 7 more over here. Then above 30 I have. 20 such students. Of these 20, 10 have been counted, 7 and 3. I have already counted these 10. So, fresh students are 10. I should be having 40 over here. So, of these 40, 20 have already been counted. So, fresh students here would be 20 in this class. Then 46 are more than 10. Everything here is more than 10. All these should be 46. So of 46, 40 I can count here. 20 and 10, 30, 37 and 3, 40. So 40 I can count. So how many are missing? 6 are missing. And then in last case, it will be 40 minus, sorry, 50 minus 46, that is 4. So these are our number of students. Now let us find out cumulative because I need to find out median also. So that will be 4, 4 plus 6, 10, 10 plus 20, 30, 30 plus 10, 40, 40 plus 7, 47, 47 plus 3, 50. Here is our cumulative frequency. Next, let us go ahead and find out these two measures that have been asked. Median mark, 60% range. So in order to find out median, let me first find out location where my median would be sitting. Let me call it LM. What is LM? It is location of median. So let us have LM which will be N by 2. N is this 50 by 2 that is 25th location. Okay. Now where is this 25th location? Let me check in CF. 4 gone, 10 gone, 25th is not gone as yet, 4 gone, 10 gone, 30 gone. Now as soon as I say that 30 are gone, 25th has passed. So 25 is, uh, 25th element is lying in this class, 22, 30. This class is where our 25th element is lying. Okay. So let us go ahead and substitute the formula. What is the formula for median? Formula for median is median is equal to lower limit plus location of median minus cumulative frequency of preceding class upon f multiplied by i. All these values belong to our median class and what is our median class? Our median class is 22 why 20 to 30? Because my 25th element lies in this 30. A 
till here there were only 10 now we have 30 so this is my median class median is found out in two stages first stage is finding out the location second stage is finding the median itself so let us go ahead and find out median lower limit of our median class which is 20 plus location of our median which is 25 minus cumulative frequency of preceding class this is cumulative frequency of our class preceding would be 10 upon f frequency of our median class which is 20 in this case an interval of our median class which is 20 to 30 that is 10 so just go ahead and solve it it looks like a very simple case we get 20 plus 15 by 2 which is 20 plus 7.5 which is 27.5 so our median is 27.5 so one thing is taken care of they had asked for median marks median marks are 27.5 all right now let us move on to this second bit if 60 percent of the students pass a test important thing is they pass a test find the minimum marks obtained by a past student so the important thing is that students have passed so who will be these 60 percent students who have passed the test let us check let us say this is complete range of the marks scored these are the lowest marks and these are the highest marks okay now these are sorted from lowest to highest marks now who will pass this exam or test the topmost 60 will clear it obviously when I say that only 60 out of 100 will pass this test obviously those 60 would be the topmost 60 who will clear the subject okay now what is the question the question says if 60% students pass a test yes I know which 60% have passed these 60% have passed because these are the topmost 60% find the minimum marks obtained by a past student what are the minimum marks obtained by a past student these are the minimum marks obtained by a past student these are the minimum marks obtained by any student who appeared in that exam these are the highest marks obtained by any student in, who appeared in that exam but minimum marks of a past student these are the minimum marks of a past students marks of a past student all right so I need to find out this value now if this is 60 what is this what amount of students have not passed 40 percent students have not passed so in fact what are they asking us they are asking what is this marker what this marker means what is this marker this marker can be represented as d4 decile 4 or even it could be represented by p 40 percentile 40 so you could identify d4 or p40 as you wish so let us go ahead and find out let us say d4 now when i try to find out d4 first thing that i need to do is location of d4 location of d4 would be 4 into n by 10 because it is a decile we'll be having 10 partitions so for our case it becomes 4 into 50 by 10 making it 20 so 20th location is where d4 is sitting okay now where is 20th location 4 gone 10 gone 30 gone so 20 is also sitting in this location incidentally our median was also sitting here and d4 is also here because median was at 25th which was more than 10 and less than 30 decile is sitting at 20th location which is more than 10 less than 20 so here I will be having my decile so let us go ahead and put our formula and let us extract decile from this class t4 would be lower limit of the class 
which is 30 sorry 20 plus location of decile which is 20 minus preceding CF CF of preceding class which is 10 upon frequency of the median class which is 20 and multiplied by interval of the decile class interval is 10 to 20 making it a 10 so what will be the values 20 plus 10 upon 20 multiplied by 10 giving me 25 so now I can say marks uh, marks rather let us call it minimum marks minimum marks of a past student are 25 so when you go and find out marks of this d4 decile 4 or p40 or a student who has just barely passed his marks are 25 anybody who has scored less than 25 is fail and anybody who has scored more than 25 is pass so 25 is the minimum marks of the past students if 60 percent of the students have passed so our answers for this case would be median is 27.5 and marks scored by the students securing minimum marks is 25 so we see that the question was a straightforward one once we have decoded this data once we have converted this representation into our known representation because this is the representation that we no, this is the representation that we have been taught always. So whenever we come across some other kind of representation, we need to bring it into a known format. We need to bring it into a situation where I could understand it and apply my formula. So this is how we go about this. We'll add more questions in which the data will be represented in different ways. And we'll see how we find out remaining averages. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.